speaking of the secondary, um, you know, Jason Verrett, unfortunately, he tore his ACL last year uh, in the first game of the year against the Detroit Lions. He's slowly working his way back. Uh, we know he's currently on the pup list, and I would imagine that he starts the season on the pup list. The 49ers are in a great situation um, that we do not have to rely on Jason Verrett to be our best corner. Now, we know in 2020 he had basically a Pro Bowl season. He was the best corner on the team. Uh, but as he works his way back to form, we have depth in the secondary. Um, you mentioned, you know, Dark Horse Denard. Hopefully he's okay. Like you said, nothing torn. And all the young guys that we've drafted over the last, you know, two seasons. Um, do you anticipate Jason Verrett starting on Pup as well come week one? And then he'll have another six weeks uh, to get healthy and, and maybe contribute to this defense in the back half of the season. Yeah, I think the way Kyle Shanahan explained it was that they were worried that this could, you know, what happened in 2019, where he came back a little bit early and just wasn't ready to help the team. I think it would give them a a great ability to bring him back after six games or, you know, even after that, like he said, halfway through the year, the end of the year, whatever he needed to do. Um, but they definitely have a plan for Jason Verrett. So I do think he starts on the pup. And when he comes back, they've kind of given a little bit of a glimpse of what this defensive secondary could look like with Verrett back in there uh both the secondary coach and uh kyle shanahan talked about the fact that they could run some matchup things just depending on who they felt matched up better with each receiver you know so maybe it was a more physical uh receiver like Allen robinson maybe you're putting charvarius ward on him and if it's a cooper cup that changes directions very fast it could be someone like jason verrett it to me it made a lot of sense and so that might mean that all these guys are more equipped to play outside and inside a actual matchup cornerback situation that could be really fun to watch down the stretch once Jason Verrett actually comes back from injury. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it, I think when all the corners are healthy, I think you know Verrett, Ward, and and Mosley are probably your three best corners. Um, I'm intrigued to see you know if Jason Verrett can contribute this year. Obviously, there's no rush. Um, I did see a video of him on IG. Uh, you know, doing some back pedals and, and sprinting across the field. So it's good to see that that he is running. Uh, but I think it's a great situation for him. We know, it, you know, he's pretty much only going to really sign one year deals from here on out. But he's got an opportunity to to get healthy. And uh, the 49ers are, are OK and we can um, welcome him back in the back half of the season. I think that's that's a, a perfect situation for Jason Barrett. No need to rush him like we did, you know, in 2019 because we absolutely needed him. So. Um, definitely looking forward to seeing that nickel position uh, play out because we know K1 Williams held it down when he was here with the 49ers. So he's definitely there's definitely a void there. Um, but as you mentioned, Dark Horse Denard knows where he needs to be and he, he looks to be, you know, uh, ready for the position. Quick, quick question. Um, obviously, I mean, I don't know why I didn't ask you this before, but, you know, our number one pick of this draft, Drake Jackson, edge rusher out of USC. How has he looked uh, so far, and do you anticipate him starting this year? Uh, he's tremendously athletic. I mean, it, number one, the guy's body uh, it does not look like a rookie. He's, he's put together physically. Um, the other day he did, you know, backflips and cartwheels down the sideline during the rookie hype train. Absolutely tremendous for a 270-pound guy to move like that. I don't think he's a starter. I don't think he starts this year. I think he's a situational pass rusher. And I actually predicted that I the other day that I believe he'll have like three or four sacks. I think he'll contribute to this team. But right now he's going to have to learn how to play in base four, three downs before he can ever start, because I think he has to learn how to set the edge against the run. And that's not right. easy to do as a rookie, especially a guy that did play off ball linebacker. Samson Ebucom got really good at that last year. The fact Samson Ebucom missed zero tackles last year means mm -hmm. he's going to probably be the guy starting opposite of Nick Bosa because you got to stop the run on early downs, and that's what uh, Samson Ebicom is really good at. All the while, his technique is so much better. So uh, Drake Jackson's eventually going to be a big-time star for the 49ers with the bend, uh, the flexibility in his hips and ankles to be able to bend the corner like I've seen him do already against like Mike McGlinchey and uh, Colton McKivitz. But it's going to take a little bit of time and development because uh, Chris Kacarek and Daryl Tapp are still working on his hand and his pass rush moves. Mm. And, and speaking of the defensive line, you know, Javon Kinlaw um, – um, Javon Kinlaw was working his way back uh, from injury last year. I believe he participated in first team reps. I believe that was today, I believe. So that, that's a good sign. Um, unfortunately, Eric Armstead is out multiple weeks. Uh, we did sign Robert uh, Kendiche. Do you, do you think he'll make the active roster, Robert Kendiche? Uh, 
You know what? I, I don't know for sure. I think Armstead's going to be back. Kinlaw's going to be back. The question is Hassan Ridgeway. If Ridgeway is going to be mm-hmm. back, I think the 49ers might go with a four-man rotation. Kevin Givens, Hassan Ridgeway, Kinlaw, Armstead on the interior and yeah. keep seven edge rushers. The way that they've been playing Jordan Willis, Kerry Hyder, uh, Charles Aminu, all these guys on the inside, I think they believe that with most NFL teams going to nickel, um, uh, you know, going to these situations with three wide receiver sets, Ford will be playing more nickel, so they're not going to need these big guys on the interior as much. So, yeah, it could be a seven and four split, which would be interesting because I think I thought it was going to be six and five before the Maurice Hurst and Hassan Ridgeway injuries. Mm, okay. And we know that John Lynch and Kyle Shanahan, they value the edge rushing position, specifically the defensive line. They've drafted a defensive lineman basically every year except Trey Lance and Mike McGlinchey. So uh, the 49ers definitely value the defensive line. Um, and you need that in the NFL. You got to be able to uh, upset, like as you said, upset the quarterback's timing uh, and get him, get him, get him off of his spot, make him run around. You know, so uh, it'll be interesting to see. I, I think this is the best defense so far under the Shanahan era. I agree with you. Um, you look at top to bottom, the secondary, the linebacking core, the defensive line. I think the only issue is going to be health. If we can stay healthy, I think we can go as far as we want to go. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see what happens.